Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video, guys, we will talk about multidimensional arrays in PHP. Guys, in multidimensional arrays, we will use arrays inside an array, and we will use more than one dimension. Just for an example, which we can, which you can see on the screen. This is associative array which we have clear, uh, which we have done in previous tutorial, and you can see we are using one dimension. And if you want to use more than one dimension, like in more, uh, you need to use more square brackets. This is two dimension, and this is three dimension. You can also either use a index value or some key. So. In this video, we will cover the both one means we will also use, we will use the index value and we will also use the keys. So, firstly, we will declare the. Firstly, I will tell you the way how can you declare and uh, how can you declare a multi-dimensional array. So, we will I will remove all this. I will uh, the uh, variable name will be same. Then after that, in the uh, we will type the array keyword and we will type to elements you can save so uh, just for example i'm creating a record of class so i'm creating a record of a two students so i will write to show and then grammar and you can also make uh, 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 also make the record of more students so I, in this story i'm making a record of two students only so the first way is we, uh, i've already told you that we will use arrays inside an array so I will tell you the way how can you do this you need to use a an equal to sign and a greater than sign which we were using in associative errors but instead of uh, writing a value here like in the previous story we were using a ma um, value of uh, marks a student have obtained and instead of using a value we will write the error keyword and then we will write brackets and in between these two brackets we will write more elements like uh, first one will be the age of the student I will write 21 then I will write then how much marks he has obtained 99 and then what is his uh, qualification so I, oh, so I write MC I mean masters in computer applications now I will take this comma to the next line so that it will be clear so after comma I will again use equal to and greater than sign and then array keyword. Then we will separate uh, it. Uh, first, we write the name, uh, age of the student. After that, how much marks he has obtained, and after that, his qualifications. So write MBA. You can simply use more by using a comma, and then you need to write. Okay. So now, guys, I want to tell you this is uh, we uh, I'm using index arrays. Uh, so firstly. Uh, I will print it using a printer function so that you will be able to understand how it is working. So printer and the variable name. So refresh now you can see this is the first element means this is the first key and inside that key here is uh, an, uh, one more array and the index uh, it's uh, index is here index is here and the uh, at 0 index the value is 21 at index 1 the value is 99 and at index 2 the value is MCA and in the same way the camera is the key and in between that key here is an array and at index 0 here is value of 21 sorry 22 and index 1 the value is 98 and at index 2 the value is MBA so if you want to print it so I will command it out so I will use the echo statement echo now, firstly, you need to write the name of the variable students. Then, firstly, what you will do, you will write the uh, first element, it's Rishabh. Guys, I want to tell you, I'm using index. So, after this, we will also use uh, associative arrays, so means we will use keys in, instead of using index. So, if I write 0, means write the, uh, we will printing the first. Uh, element which is reshape and index is zero. So we are using uh, two dimensions. You can see. So if I'll print it, you will see 21. If I'll use one, you will see 99 on the screen. You can see 99. So this is index at index zero, at index one, at index two. So if I'll write two, MCA. So in the same way, if I write Cameron here, Cameron, MBA, you can see. I have it at a, uh, at index two. The value is MBA. So now I will tell you that how can you use associative array? Instead, means instead of using index value, you can use keys. So if you want to use keys, 
yeah, you know that uh, in the pre uh, previous story in associative arrays, uh, we were using associative uh, arrays. So firstly, we write the key name, and after that, its associative value. So I write the values. Age is uh, 24, 25. Then write marks. Then equal to greater than sign, and then its value 99. Then qualification or you need to write in short form qual and equal to greater than sign then its value right uh, it's a string value so I'll write MCA in single quote now in the same way I'll copy all this paste it so I'll change it MT to MBA and then I am max up to 98 and age to 22 Oops. 20. So instead of using this, uh, uh, firstly, guys, I will command it out and I will uncommand it. You will understand what I'm trying to tell you. Refresh, now I can see. First one key is uh, reshub and an array is inside that key. Now, age is the key and the value of that key is 25 and the uh, marks is also a key and the value is 99. In the same way, the comrade. Uh, is a key and the inside that key here's a and one more array and inside uh, here is a key of age and the value of that key is 20, 22 and the one more key is marks and I have a value is 98 and one more key is qualification and the value is MBA so if I want to print it first I command it out so instead of using this index value we will use the key so if I want to print the age so I will use camera age so it will print the value of 22 you can see if I'll uh, use Rishabh here Rishabh age 25 so if I'll use qualification Q-U-A-L it's a qualification you will see MCA so as this was about multi-dimensional arrays which we will using which we were using an array inside a array inside an array and uh, more than one dimension you can using this we are using two dimensions so this is uh, multi dimensional arrays so guys if you still have any question you can go to my discussion forum or maybe you can even comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see in the next tutorial